All right, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun Moon High as well rising weekly love and relationship tarot reading January thirteenth to January nineteenth, twenty twenty, and um, if you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, you can find a, my a, the link to my website in the description down below, and from there you can purchase and schedule and schedule a, a private reading. So that being said, moving um, into the Oh my God, one second to make the refill properly. Uh, moving into the reading itself. Come on. Oh no, that's proper proper refill. All right, so reading into, uh, moving into the reading itself. Uh, the first card, which is going to stand as a topic of your week, Virgo, in terms of uh, love and relationship, is going to be the Queen of Wands. Followed by uh, the next one, which represents uh, the energies that are feeding the situation of the Queen of Wands here, uh, is going to be the Nine of Cups. Third card, it is the challenge that uh, you will have to overcome for, throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. That will be the uh, Eight of Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have the gifts and the blessings of the Hangman. Oh my God. So... Um, that will be, I mean, a very strong week for those who are single. And I mean, very, very strong week, guys. But we're going to get into that in a minute. So, uh, gifts and the blessings. Hangman. Uh, fifth one, it is how... Yeah. <laughs> it is just there, they're just talking. So, how people are going to see you and what kind of impression you're going to make among people around you. That will be the uh, Page of Cups. Um... Next one, it is um, what is going to help your long-term love and relationship goal. That will be the five swords. Uh, moving forward or moving further, it is what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. That will be the ace of wands. And the last one, which is uh, the guidance that Saru is offering to you here. No surprise, we do have something like the Knights of Pentacles into that position. So, um, when I started the reading, I was quite unsure uh, what that Queen of Wands was representing. And now, as I have sold all the cards into the reading here, this Queen represents your state. With the Knight, with the Nine of Cups here into uh, the energy position. You are going to be irresistible to certain person or to certain archetypes of people. Okay, this is what those two cards are pointing. Now you're gonna find out, okay, that you are attracting certain individual or certain individuals as well, because it could be more than just one person. One more thing here with those two cards, Virgo, is that you are going to also have that um, amplified, I would say, drive for, let's make it simple, drive for having partying, going out with friends and, uh, friends and associates as well, uh, and in general, showing yourself in front of the world. Now, take it that way, and I love this... Um, explanation of the queen of uh, wands take it like the world is desert a really really cold and dark desert all right and you are a a bonfire so everybody wants to be around the bonfire everybody wants to be around you and these energies are only going to make that bonfire more wilder and wilder with the Nine of Cups to a point where you pretty much are going to feel like on the top of the world. Or in another word said with the aspect of the Nine of Cups, it is like you are going to have wish fulfillment. I don't like to talk like this, but it kind of gets pretty close to it. However, Nine of Cups, it is not by any means something that it is long-lasting. It does depend on how you're going to play on it. Furthermore, 
to make it long lasting. So that being said, yes, you are going to be attractive. Yes, people are going to find you very handsome. People are going to find you irresistible. Okay. But if you don't do anything about it, and in other words, you don't capitalize on it, you are going to miss that opportunity. So what I can tell you here with those two cards, especially if you are single, just go out and display yourself in front of the world. And you are going to be amazed how many people are showing interest in you. Another thing is, however, are you going to have an interest for them? But it's not going to hurt if you kind of try your chances, is it? So moving to the next one here, which is the challenges that you need to overcome for throughout the week. And that is eight of pentacles. And that is in a high correlation into going outside into the world. You're going to find it somewhat challenging. Maybe it is because it is not you. Maybe it is because you like to be more consistent. You like to be more methodical. You, you like to be more meticulous. But this week does not call for that. This week calls for your physical properties and for how you interact with the world in general. And for what it stands here with this reading, that week, people, the collective, will have high demand of a personality like you. So it will be advisable to cash in on that demand. Another thing with the Eight of Pentacles, it is for those who become intoxicated by this, I would classify it as a power they're going to have, right? Like power over to attract other people. It is that they may start being, stop being careful. It is like missing a very important details about the people that they are associating themselves with. So while it will be advisable for you to go out and display in front of the world, especially if you're single, you know, that you are ready to start new relationship, to flirt with other people, to generally to give yourself to the world, you also need to be mindful at the end of the day, whom you are associating yourself with. Now, the other card here, it is about the gifts and the blessings that this week is going to give you. And that will be the hangman. So the hangman plays a role, especially as a gift and a blessing, as I like to say it that way, simultaneously a, a test and a breakthrough. It is a, a test for you of stepping outside in the world and see that there is more than just one perspective. So you have seen the world previously into one perspective and now kind of seeing how many people are, how much you are on demand, all right, or how many people are attracted to you one or another way, you are adopting a different perspective, which gives you the breakthrough you need. Okay. So it's like stirring, uh, stirring your love and relationship environment. If you are lacking options available, well, there you go. You're going to have options available. If you are lacking appreciation, well, there you go. You're going to lack, you're not going to lack appreciation anymore. But once again, you got to cash in on that. Another thing with the hangman as a gift and blessings for those, however, who are not single and that they're feeling that their relationship isn't moving anywhere. Uh, that card gives you the gift and the blessing of that is going to start, uh, is going to be set in flux. Um, on its own accord. So uh, it's probably whatever it's, uh, it's uh, stopping the relationship to move forward. It is something exterior that you can't do anything about. Maybe you're in depression, maybe your wife or a husband is in a depression and you just have to wait it out to pass. And from it, after it passes, you know, your relationship will be uh, in stir once again. So how people are going to see you, okay? How people are going to take on you, what kind of an impression you're going to leave into people. That will be the page of cups. So few ways of how people are going to see you. Most strongest one, it is that you are ready for emotional attachment. Now you may not be, right? Or you may not feel like it, but this is how people are going to see you. And that this is one of the reasons why you are going to start attracting people. Okay. This is one of the reasons why people are going to try to approach you. Now we have a bit of a, a conflict here of the approaching part. This is because the queen of wands gives them an impression that it sits on a high horse. And those who are more shy, who does not have that much confidence, they may never, even though they are attracted to you, they may never kind of have the guts to approach you. 
So that's why at some point, for some of you, maybe you will have to take the initiative here. But in another way, how people are going to see you here, it is that you have learned your lessons and now you are ready to move forward into the future with your uh, a rather vast arsenal of a, an unimportant experience. So uh, bottom line, you have done a very crucial deliberations recently. This is how people are going to think of you. And you have make a, um, how can I say it? Um, a, a very definitive decision here to move on. So say you have been in, you have in a recent breakup and uh, you know you are in depression or you didn't take it very easily here and now throughout this week people are going to see you as a, a person who is ready to move on and that is another reason why you are going to attract so many um, interests from different sides. Now the other card for you Virgo it is what is going to help your long-term love and relationship goal that is the five of swords. So a couple of things here five of swords um, asks you to be mindful of how much you can accomplish and not to exceed your resources because the five of swords is that card that promises always victory okay i mean you are gonna be victorious here with this man that we do have holding the two swords but i does not say that this is going to be a happy ending because the victory it could be a bitter victory Often uh, it is described by spending more than you are actually going to gain at the end. Okay, so that's why you have to be mindful of your of the limits of your resources. Either those resources are time, you know, home, family, and so on and so forth, or emotional resources, if you will. And the other thing that the Five of Swords is urging you here is not to be over trust, trustful, or trust, yeah, trustful. Okay, so at some points it will be very helpful to you or very beneficial for you to trust the healthy sense of mistrust. So whatever, whenever you are suspecting that something isn't right, probably isn't right. And that is also could be described with the Queen of Wands at the start because the Queen of, the Queen of Wands has that acute sense for what is going on around. So if you sense that something isn't right, then it is not right at all. Now the other card... It is uh, about uh, what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. And that is going to be the uh, Ace of Swords. So Ace of Swords here plays the role of a couple of things. Now, the first one is trying to find your new love into new horizons before you exhausting your current options available. So pretty much that card points that with someone that is now around you, probably you are a capable to form a, a long lasting relationship, family maybe as well, children, who knows. But it will be important according to that card first to look around around yourself before you turn your glance toward unexplored social circles. And the other thing that the Ace of Wands is telling you, Virgo, it is that uh, you shouldn't give an impression that if you, for example, start an interactions, you should not give an impression that you are going to give up on it lightly. It's kind of like it is not a big deal for you. It may not be a big deal for you, but given an impression that you are actually very interested into it, it is because that if you give an impression that it is whatever, you know, that will undermine the uh, enthusiasm and as well the confidence into the other person. And like we said, confidence in something that the other person will need with you at least for throughout this week. And finally, at the end, we do have the guidance that Tarot is offering. And that will be the Knights of Pentacles. So Knights of Pentacles um, here guides you or advises you for a couple of things. First of all, it is that uh, you, you will have to make up your mind of what you want for yourself in terms of relationship, in terms of love and in terms of treatment or treatment from the other person okay and the other thing it is that once you spot your interest and you make up your mind whom you want to be with or what you want to accomplish into your um, relationship or a marriage you, whatever actions that uh, plan dictates those actions needs to be supported by a very strong determinations behind and once again the knights of pentacles urges for a jump into the old branches of love 
Okay, so it's another confirmation that somewhere around you, you do have a, a very, very good match. And if you are not looking at it or you don't know what I'm talking about or who I'm talking about, maybe it's time to wake up. So um, that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase and schedule a, a personal reading. So uh, that being said, hopefully we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.